Little guys, Jurassic Yes, here today we're back to Dying Light 2. Alright, so last time we completely failed this jump at the GRE. And it looks like we might fail again if we can't figure out a way up there we're with our stamina. Oh, we didn't die. Nice! <laughs> Alright, so when we get to that point we need to go over to the left. I'm pretty sure this is the only way up. Be nice if we had a little bit more stamina. I don't think that we have enough inhibitors to increase our stamina yet, though. I did find one around the world. Nothing really happens since you need three of them. But yeah. That was too bad. Are you Hubert? I ain't done anything. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Then why did you run away from me? Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes, someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How do you know Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles? How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. All right, well, we got a lead at least. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. <laughs> Man! Alright. Might be a little bit more advanced for us. I was not expecting a big one. So we ended up taking a slight detour. There was this windmill over here. It said all we gotta do is activate it and... Yeah, basically all we had to do was go up a ladder and jump across the thing. Oh, so are these going to be like the towers in Assassin's Creed, basically? Makes sense, it's also from Ubisoft. No, this isn't from Ubisoft. Fitty Wilmo creates a safe zone around it, which provides a resting place protected by UV light. Enables nearby band instructions to become faction structures. These buildings will contain merchants as well as other quests. Challenges an additional source of UV light at night. Well, that's cool. Now, what would be even better is like a big old couch right there. Or bed, whatever you want to land on. And so let's just zip line across, and we should be good to go to find Maya now. All right, so it looks like Maya is going to be found inside of here. Hopefully, she's still alive. Is that? Are you screaming or is that from the outside? Alright, hold on. <laughs> Get the flashlight on so we can actually see around here. 
I mean, I don't think rushing tour is going to necessarily do too much. So we are going to stop around, make sure we're not losing on anything cool. Like this uncommon bracelet that we can clearly sell to people and soap. That's got to be worth millions, right? Hey, this isn't funny, damn it. Hmm. A shithole indeed. Oh, we gotta go up. We found a roadie vest, immune booster, and another inhibitor. Oh, nice. Now, do we want to go with health or stamina? It allows you to sustain more damage from falls or getting hit by enemies. Or stamina. I feel like either one would technically be very useful. But for now, we're going to go with health. We're going to probably try to keep these two relatively similar to each other. So next one will be stamina and just sort of stagger it like that. Are you who we're looking for? Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on, you were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Where did you find the Lazarus? How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Give me the Lazarus, and I'll look after it for you. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? Are you nuts? The Who's He What's It's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. So we got an I don't pay, which is probably going to kill her, or we can negotiate down. I don't necessarily have any currency in this world anyway, so. 500 or what? That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. You lady are a horrible negotiator. You went from 500 down to 10 bucks. <laughs> I mean, that works for us, I guess. This morning. Hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, are they actually going to believe that we didn't kill him now? That we have the brass knuckles just out of nowhere? Yeah, we found it off some street kid. I don't know. We don't We don't know who did it. I don't know. That seems like an awfully horrible story to tell them. Oh, hold on. It's this big old facility here. It looks like we don't have to sneak in the bottom entrance anymore. Nice. Go ahead and shut the door behind us. That way, no zombies somewhat try to enter in. We got the UV lights though, so I don't even know if, why we have a door. I like Lucas's leadership. Have you seen these people? Be good. Right, well, let's go turn in the brass knuckles and see what happens. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. What is this tattoo? Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. 
When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. Get me to the center. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. What's the problem with the bazaar? The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I will find the killer. Although I wonder if we could have kept those brass knuckles. I didn't even look at my inventory to see if we could have equipped them. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Well, at least we got a weapon out of the deal. worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Alright, so hold on. Is there like a bed or anything for us to use in here? This looks like it just goes further down. So I saw like the bed icon there because I was going to at least attempt to make it daytime that we don't have to worry about the zombies, but since the con's out there, we shouldn't have an issue, right? One stop. Summed him up right there, I think. Eh, it's about the same. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Hey, well, it looks like all we gotta do is track down Sophie. Alright, what on earth is that? 
Apparently that's going to be above our abilities at the moment. But man, I didn't know they had even bigger ones in here. All right, well, we made it to the next town. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Oh, so that last town wasn't the one that sent us away in this area. Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? You want me here for gossip? Bad and getting worse. Bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Why don't you tell me more about your people? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. You wanted me here for gossip. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? I'm a wolf. <laughs> so our options are a sheep, I'm no threat to you, a wolf, you better watch out. I don't like that metaphor. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah oh, yes, I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, Prate? <laughs> Need to ask her about Lucas's death. I have a package for her. It's my own business. I feel like you might get kind of, well... He might honestly be glad that we're, you know, telling him. But at the same time, it's like, hey, we're working with your buddies over there that you hate. I don't know. Well, my own business. That's my business. 
Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine, I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man, and we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. I don't trust him. He's acting all innocent when he could have just left the UV light on to keep us protected overnight. And then we could have been about our day, you know, searching for a biomarker. But no, he turned it off and tried to get us killed. So I don't trust him. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. So we gotta do a whole bunch of busy work. Get some work at the bazaar and earn Sophie's trust. All right, well, let's go meet a couple people. Yeah, you. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? I lie and say I'm a local. I tell the truth. I mean, I feel like everybody already knows we're new. Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else is. Head on over to meet them in West Coriand. They'll fill you in on the details. Never said I'd agree to this. I'll do it. Sure. We kind of have to. Don't keep them waiting. However, oh, there's somebody nicer here that's not as weird. We'll help them instead. Hey. You look familiar. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. We just complete a quest. <laughs> nice. All right, well, it is the same town then. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.